Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode with me, Belfire, and today we're back in Space Engineers, and I am more awake for recording today. Okay, so for whatever reason, this will not shoot. Uh, these three will, and I just got a, a few new weapon mods. And I'm currently waiting for this Centurion Ion Cannon to build. This should be fun to fire. So, and, well, that's, so, okay. Let me restart. I got new mods, yes. That's a maneuvering th thruster. And, huh, okay. Here are all, some of the new weapons. Like pulse laser... Railguns, combat shotgun, sentinel smart gun, prowler chain gun, shrike bomb bay. There are just a lot of weapons in this one mod. 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 There we go. Uh, azimuth weapons. Glass doors. Borg. Borg cutting beam. Okay. Cockpit blocks. Consumables. Conveyors. Dark star. That's the shield generator. Decorative. What in, what in the world is this? Dominion phased polar beam emitter. Wait, this is a laser weapon, isn't it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dummy industries, energy shields, pyro oh. Federation. Frostbite, FTI, HSR, Nano Char. What? Provides roughly the interior space of a standard large cargo container. What in the world is this? Whole bunch of HSR stuff. Okay. S weapons. Lots of weapons. Industrial. Whole bunch of turrets. Energy weapons. That's what all of these things are. Okay, hang on. Oh. I was expecting that to be a lot bigger. Those are the re reactors I have. The sp- Huh? I don't understand. Nanites, north wind weapons, okay. And tech, oh, I remember that. Battle cannon, fixed 50 millimeter, 120, a machine gun, and cannons. More energy weapons, and a laser blade. Ah, power blocks. So, I recently did get a new mod. That adds modular reactors. Prop. Tools. Weapons. Disruptor bank. Okay.
magnetic wheels, more hangar doors, wasteland stuff, shot cannon, barrel. Oh, it's just a barrel. Okay. Skyblade, propellers, small ship. Hmm. More energy weapons, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, one thing I did get rid of was the aerodynamics mod. I just think it was causing a little bit too much lag. Character tool. Character tools. Welder. There we are. I'm still missing gravity components. Controlled production. Yep. There we go. There we go. Now it's working. My only thing is, I don't understand why... Hang on. Um, you have three speed modules. Oh, you have three speed modules. That still takes forever. Oh my lord. Okay. Well then. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess I could go ahead and start making it. But the only thing is, I don't know exactly what... Well, it looks like it doesn't have any conveyor ports, from what I can see. And I can't see much. So, my thought process is... Well, first I need to figure out how I'm going to do this and how I want to arrange these. Because I want there to be mo many of these turrets. Because this is going to be the main cannon. Uh, hmm. So one thing I could do is go from the corners with pistons. So go from the corners. Like here, I think. I'm just making sure it's lined up. It is most definitely not. So that goes to this corner right here. So I need to make sure it does the same on the other side, or else this will not work. But it should. There is an easier way now that I think about it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So then on the sixth one, I think. Right? Are those lined up? Yeah, they seem to be. 
And I might need a second piston. And if that's the case, I'm putting... I'll probably put it on a hinge. And you see how far 10 meters is. So that looks to be about half. Eh, just over half. Okay. So then I want to put in two hinge two hinges so that both of the hinges are face can face so both the hinge negatives are facing that way. Then a another piston right there. That'll only expand Extend. Wait, hang on. Yeah, I knew I had more pistons. So instead of this large one, Let me set the lower limit to zero. <sighs> and now I have to go back and do it the other way now. There we go. And again, I messed up. Okay. I have a feeling my build and repair system is not happy with me. I re I'm surprised I need more steel. Hmm. There we go. And the reason I am doing everything the same way is just simply to make my life easier when I am building it. Or set programming it. That's the right word. I realize how much of a mistake this is. But hey, whatever works. I was about to say, did I put this one on her own? Just simply because it didn't look like it was on, right? I need to remember not to left click when I'm resetting the angles. And I right clicked when I should have left clicked. <sighs> okay. So now mini piston goes on top. And also you extend.
Let me go ahead and put this one over here. With the very, very small piston. I really hope... Ah, that's why it doesn't look right. Because I didn't put the right, right piston on it. There we go. Ah yes, the massive one by five piston. Oh my lord. I do want to see how far this thing can go though. And that is perfect. I mean, just under enough room for two hinges, I think. And yes, I'm doing another two hinges. And now that I think about it, I mo probably should have put the entire um, piston on a hinge. There we go. And now the other one. That one should be perfectly fine. So. And it most likely does not make sense what I'm doing right now. And it. I'm honest. I'm honestly just building as I go right now, because I have no idea if this will work. Hmm. But it might. That's the whole point of this. Basically, my whole idea is that these two pistons will remove the heavy armor covering from on, on top of here, and allow whatever turret design I go with to raise up as it, the heavy armor sheet slides underneath. That's probably going to be a nightmare to sequence everything, but I'm still going to try. And I might need to be a, make it so it can collapse some. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, one thing I do want to do before is not definitely not light armor heavy armor wow okay so i only need to go up a couple parts of a meter not even all that much hmm nice So what, maybe like half a meter or a full meter? It's looking like a full meter. I need one meter. Really, that's one meter. Okay, how about two? And this is where the fine tuning will come in. Okay.
You know what? That's close enough. So 2.2 meters, I think it is. I just need to make sure because my memory is horrible. What is your maximum extension? 2.2. .2. Got it. And if I wanted to make it look flush, I would need to go even more exact, which I'm not doing. 2.2. 2. 0.5. Okay, now I need to see how far down this entire thing can go. And now that I really think about it, this piece should definitely be on a hinge. And let me go ahead and do this over here. Oh, no. I hope I have enough hydrogen to get up here. Fuel low. Yes, I know my fuel's low. Oh, that was close. Okay. Now then. Inventory. Not GYD. Wait for that. Wait for my refuel and then refuel it again. There we go. Yeah, this thing is insanely expensive, but 5k travel The Centurion is a tactical beam weapon that fires an ion pulse which can disable enemy ship systems. It also deals a nasty amount of damage. Building from focus beam technology, it must be held on the target for the duration of its firing period in order to deal damage. The EMP lasts 10 seconds and the jump disruption lasts 30 seconds. 5 kilometer travel, energy weapon, Disable systems and jump drives. EMP effect does something. Hmm. That seems really interesting. Okay. So now I'm going to continue working with this. And I'm going to work with both, s both sides, because of course I am. Mainly this is to see if I need to adjust anything. I have a feeling I will. My hope right now is that this does not wind up uh, tipping. Look at that. It already is. Where? Where is it tipping from? Looks like down here. Uh, 
Okay. Ah, it's this one here. There it is. Yep, all these need inertia tensors on. Wonderful. Okay. So, okay. That's the plate, right? So then if this one, this hinge here, goes forward... Well, first, this one would have to go backward, I think. And of course, I need to max both of them out. While this one is going at a negative. And maybe also while this one is retracting. Oh, it's wedged. I see. Okay, hmm. Well then here, let me pull this one down now. Here's to hope that this becomes unstuck. And it did. So current problem is it needs another piston that will extend up first. Okay. And honestly, I might just need another rotor more than anything else. Not rotor, hinge. I noticed that. Now, the fun bit is to see if this can't 
either of these can push up. Which, with the force that they're at, I'm not surprised. I just want to make sure that this can actually slide back up. Because if I use those two to basically hinge it over so that it can then hinge upward, that might work. I'm not sure, though. And let me guess. It's stuck. That's going to shoot up. At least I think it will. And if not, I know exactly how to fix it. But anyway, I know that wasn't a lot for this episode, but I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that amazing stuff. And I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye, guys.